Yes, you might have a small home gym. You might even have a gift wrapping room. But do you have a party closet? Brian's back to show us how to put it together and how it's going to save you so much time, especially if you like to entertain. So we're calling it the party pantry. It is. Because that just makes it more fun even. It, it's right? true. And I actually have this. Not this cabinet. This cabinet is from Ikea, which it's I think so is absolutely good. beautiful. Uh, you can use this to have a freestanding cabinet. You use a cupboard or a pantry cabinet in your kitchen. Yeah. But I like everything together. Mm -hmm. That's for entertaining. You have things scattered. The candles are somewhere and the serveware is somewhere. And yes. It's all over the place. So keep it all together and keep it very organized. So what we did here is all of this is sort of party stuff from Hudson's Bay, and it's everything you need when you have people coming over, whether you've planned it for a long time or whether you've spontaneously invited some people over. Yeah. You want this to be easy. Yeah, and I just think that that lessens the anxiety because a lot of people will say they like entertaining. I love entertaining, but I also will th be thinking about it five days in advance Correct. every night. So if this is all planned for me, this takes a lot of that away. Perfect, and you can either have it hidden yeah. Or if you display it nicely, this could be in the dining room uh, or in a hallway. But what we've done is we've got all the big serve bowls here, the mm -hmm. wood. And then I like to have multiple salt and pepper shakers. So okay. people aren't passing the salt and pepper oh, shakers. Right. So I'll put them around the table. Yeah. And I collect little crystal ones that I put at every place setting. So I like to do oh, that. that's nice. So get multiples of that. Vases. Yes. Keep all the vases together because people often bring flowers and they don't bring the vase with the flower. Yeah. And you're scrambling at the last minute. Where? What am I supposed to do with that? Yeah. So um, put vases in here. All the different types of candles you need. All the candles. So you would have the votives, yeah. the big hurricane candles, candle holders, all of that. The tea lights. The, the tea lights, the extra tea lights that when when this burns down, yeah, you, can you just it. buy more of these and drop them in. Nice. Okay, so you don't throw those away. No. And then um, the one thing everybody has to have mm -hmm. is you should keep extra bags, mm -hmm. gift bags, and you should buy, like when they're on sale or wherever you find them, buy a dozen candles, like really pretty candles. Yes. Keep like a half a dozen or a dozen bottles of wine. And if you have to go, if you're invited to someone's dinner mm -hmm. and or their house, and you're like, I don't have time to go get a gift. Just grab the bag, throw a candle in it, you're done. Right. So, so the half a dozen bottles of wine are not for you to drink. Correct. That's what That's he's saying. That's not for you. That's but for gifts. It, but this is, I'll tell you, this saves the most time if you have just go to your, your card store, yes. especially after holidays, they're for sale. And just get some gift bags and a few of those. And I find there's often times I'm like, oh my goodness, I don't have time to get them anything. Yeah. So I do that. That's perfect. You're set with the, with the, with the bags and the tissue paper and everything. I do that for the kids' uh, birthday parties. There's yeah. a birthday party every other week. Exactly. So I have some gifts ready to go. This and one's for, the, for a boy. This one's for a girl. And for the school teacher. And, and for the teacher. Like all of that stuff. All your barware. You have your decanters, more decanters, martini those are shakers. Lovely. Aren't they beautiful? Beautiful. Yeah, they're really nice. Look at the color of that one. Oh, it's gray gorgeous. You almost don't even want to put anything in there, right? That's why this Lovely. is a glass one. Yeah. And then we have our serve, serveware pieces. Mm -hmm. And this is, you know, I love these, especially these odd shapes. These yeah. are great for sliced breadsticks or yeah. crackers or olives and things like that. Yes. You, you can never have too many of these, but keep them all together. And then table linens, placemats, tablecloths, napkins, keep them at the bottom. So if you keep everything here, this is one less headache you have when you're entertaining. That's lovely. And are those gray stemless glasses? Yes. Are they this gray? Is are they blue? This is gray. These are so Aren't pretty. They beautiful? Yeah, stemless look at glasses. That. That's gorgeous. So what's good about these is you don't necessarily have to do the white wine, the red wine. You can just have a whole bunch of stemless. Correct. Those are very cool. Aren't as they well. pretty stemless? Like the so they can be that. for water, juice, wine, yeah. pop, anything. Very nice. Okay, so now you've got your party pantry. Go invite people over and have the party.